it seems we've caught a thief. Welcome to Marlin Spike Hall. I see you let yourself in. I came to retrieve my property. I'm sorry, I'm not sure I follow you. Oh, I think you do. This ship was stolen from my apartment less than an hour ago. You really think I look fat? Ah, pumba, pumba, pumba. You're a pig. It's a compliment. Oh, thank you. I'm afraid you're mistaken, Mr. Tintin. There's no mistake. It belongs to me. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I took it home, I put it on the cabinets in the living room, and then Snowy chased the cat and knocked it over, and it... fell. This isn't my ship. No, indeed. I'm sorry, it looks identical. Well, looks can be deceiving. Yes, indeed. But I don't understand. Why did Sir Francis make two ships exactly alike? And you have one already. Why do you want another? What is it about this model that will cause someone to steal it? Oh, goodness me. Why so many questions? It's my job. There could be a story here. It's what I do, you see. Well, it's no great mystery. Sir Francis Haddock was a drunkard and a hopeless reprobate. He was doomed to fail, and he bequeathed that failure to his sons. So it's true. The Haddock line is cursed. <laughs> What else have you found out? What is there to find? That depends what you're looking for. I'm looking for answers, Mr. Zacharin. You're looking in the wrong place. It's late. I think you should go home. This way, sir. Oh.